Hey guys. I'm seeing some videos of my favorite Indian act actress, Sri Devi. And one of the scenes she says to her divine masculine, as a matter of fact, one of the scenes that, that, you know, you don't know how much I love you and you judge me by how much money I have and my status because, you know, you judge me on my status. She's telling her masculine person and she's saying, you know, it's true, right? Love, love, real love comes once in a lifetime. It's not judged by status, color, religion, or how much money you have in your bank account, you know? And a lot of people think that their money talks for them, but no. You know what talks for them? God talks for them. They have that money because God granted them that money. Without God, they're nothing. And then they forget about God. And, you know, many times I've been judged on how much money I have in my pocket. I have a good heart, though. I still help people. Even if I have less money, I still help people because I care. But here's the thing. When you're in love with somebody and your person judges you on your status because you... I'm just giving you an example, like, because you've been homeless, let's say, or you are not educated enough for them, or you don't have a nice house like them, or a nice car like them, you know? And they, and they judge you. And their family judges you. And they allow their family to judge you. And they don't back you up behind closed doors. That is not your person. A person who you need to be is going to back the back you up totally even when you're not there in front of them do you understand the example i'm giving you that is not love a person when they love you there's no fear in love do you understand a person will be like no i love this person i don't care if they're poor i don't even care if they're educated i don't care i love that person that's my person and I want to be with them. You know, they're going to stand up for their love. That's what you do. You stand up for your love. But if you can't do that and you can't, then that's not your person, you know? You got to stand up for your right, for, for your love for them, you know? And you can't, if you can't do that for a family member or whoever you're talking to, then... You don't love that person, you know? And if you think that there are girls out there that just want to fuck, right? And I'm going to use the word fuck or have sex, right? Just because. No, there are many, many, many girls out there that want to have sex with their divine masculine when they get married, you know? There are many girls out there that just don't want to have sex just because. They can't just take their clothes off and have sex with anybody. No, they have to be in love with that person. You know, just saying. So if you think and if you want to judge us divine feminines out here, then shame on you because you just lost a good one in your life. Just saying. You know, and I'm just getting these divine messages to put out here that, you know, people get judged about their money status. People get judged by, by they hear stories about somebody like lies and, and, and they believe it. But why can't that person ask the other person, what is the truth? Why? Because they don't have enough courage to ask for the truth, you know? And a man, a human being, a man or a woman must have courage to ask you questions they want to ask you. They can't go by other people's lies, other people's opinions. You know? Just saying. So if you think that a girl's just going to sleep with you just because you're rich and you got money, money, money. No. There are many girls out there who want to be with a nice person. She don't care how much money you got. 
She got her own money. She got more money than you, and you don't even know about it. How about that one? And when your family finds out I'm getting, I don't know who I'm talking to, they're, they're going to be, they're going to shit their pants. Yep. They're going to shit their pants like, oh my God, how is that possible? God is possible. That's what I say. Jesus and my Guru Nanak is possible. Guru Nanak G. And if you think I say Guru Nanak G just because, no. My mom raised me to respect every religion on this earth. And if you don't believe me and I, or anybody else that who needs to listen to this, then what can I say? I'm just going to shrug my shoulders and say, woo. And you got something to learn. Don't judge a book by its cover.